Yeah, I'm not talking like that. Hello everyone, welcome to the Terrorthon. A different video every day covering a different subject in some way related to Halloween. Two to three minutes. For day one, we're starting with one that requires no research because I'm lazy. But don't worry, this is the only time I'll be discussing Resident Evil. Today we're going to be ranking all of the games in my order of preference. Let's do this. Resident Evil 6. Not a bad game as such, but as a Resident Evil game, it's complete wank. Resident Evil Zero. My former favourite, Rebecca Chambers, gets shafted in a game where the item management is somehow made even worse. The original Resident Evil. I mean, if we're ignoring nostalgic reasons, this game hasn't held up incredibly well, has it? The Resident Evil 3 Remake. It was a fun game, I enjoyed it, but there was just so much cut content, man, and it was so short. Resident Evil 5. This game gets a lot of shit, but I love it. Especially in multiplayer, it's a lot of fun. And I think it has one of the best Resident Evil soundtracks. Resident Evil 7, a true return to form. I was so happy about this. And it looks like they're going in this direction for Resi 8 too. Love it. Code Veronica. I've only, I only beat it for the first time a couple of days ago, but I really like it. I think it's just as good as 1, 2 and 3. And I maintain that it has the best soundtrack of every Resident Evil game. The original Resident Evil 2. I don't hold this in as high regard as many other Resident Evil fans do, but it cannot be denied that it is a timeless classic. Amazing. The Resident Evil 2 Remake. That's right, I'm ranking this higher if you can believe that. I thought this was fantastic, I thought they got everything right, apart from the lack of uh, moths, giant spiders, and a proper A and B scenario. Resident Evil 4. Often known as, this, as the game that broke the Resident Evil series and took it in a completely different direction, but you can't deny that it's so much fun. The original Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. This is probably quite a divisive pick, but uh, I think my nostalgia has to give in on this one. Nemesis is just such a fantastic villain and the game is just a constant adrenaline pump through and through. The Resident Evil 1 Remake. My personal favourite, one of the scariest games I've ever played. It took about five playthroughs before it stopped scaring me, and I think it still holds up today. Go and play it if you haven't. And that's all for day one of Terrorthon. I will see you tomorrow with a completely different topic. Bye for now.